Hello everybody and welcome back to the saga. And in this episode, I decided to take a little break from town and I'm out up here in the hills behind the Casa de Ned or whatever it's that's not the official name of it, but whatever. I remembered this place from a while back, a while while back. I remember walking right along this and seeing these really cool mountains over here and Ever since then, I thought, man, there's got to be something cool I can do over here. Oh, by the way, the uh, the quarry is doing very healthily. It is very healthy, and it goes very healthy. It's just, it's just good. It's in good shape, um, which is good because I've gotten a lot of materials for that to do something here. And what I want to do here is... I want to add a story element to this town. I want to put a monument here. And it's going to be... I'll tell you a little bit about the monument I have planned. It's going to be sort of... Uh, since it looks like there's almost like three people kind of uh, high-fiving in the middle, I kind of got inspired by that to maybe put something like a pickaxe in the middle and have three figures on the other side sort of all holding it. And it'll sort of be a symbolic of the truce or alliance or, le or whatever of three nations. And one of them is going to be the kingdom here. So you guessed it. That means there's going to be three kingdoms, actually, if there's three alliance people things over there. So... Because of this thing, that means <laughs> in order to um, you know do the whole context thing, I want it to be sort of older than the town that's over there. And truth is, they could be a little bit neglected because or really old because I kind of want to make these kingdoms almost abandoned, but you know have cool stuff in them and cool reasons for being abandoned. So. Um, that's uh, that's something I want to do. So I'm going to get down there and uh, show you what I got planned. So here we are right under this, under these. And I just have to kind of make sure I don't fall down this. So just, uh, you know, you're not supposed to turn your back on the ocean or huge cliffs. I think that's something that people aren't supposed to do. But, you know, I've got the shift button, so that's fine. I'll just, you know, shift around, be shifty, shift-like. So the first thing I notice when looking at these is that I probably need to get rid of this because it's just a huge chunk and I want to be able to kind of see this a little better so I'm gonna I'm gonna rip this out and tear it down I love sleeping right here no bad dreams please okay good <laughs> I have no I probably should have uh, emptied out my inventory before I came up here. This is um, slightly haunting, actually. <laughs> Alright, that gives a little bit better view. So, to start off, I'm going to be putting the centerpiece here, which is going to be a giant pick to symbolize their unity. Yeah, it's just going to be the symbol of their unity. Uh, of the, the strength that they can, you know, achieve when building together. You know, I think it would be uh, nice. It's going to be uh, that. So I'm thinking the shaft of the pick will be probably 3 by 3 And I'm thinking, uh, all right, so this is a nice 3 by 3 cube here. And I can bring this up. I kind of want the heads of the statues to be as tall as the mountains are around it. And I want them all to be the same height to show that they're all the same importance, you know. Yeah. But uh, I want this to be just a little bit below eye level. So I'm going to build this up and hopefully try to visualize what it'll, what it'll look good. I'm about 25 blocks, or actually I think I'm exactly 25 blocks up this thing. And I think it's better now than later to start thinking about a scaffolding system because shaping this pick, I might need to look at it from below and above.
This is about uh, nine blocks up from that platform, and I think I'll go ahead and have it one more to make it even ten. And I'll kind of even it out up here with one of these, one of these things. And I think this looks like it'll be uh, it'll be high enough to uh, be pretty formidable, actually. So now for the design for the pick itself. Uh, I'm gonna keep these top two rows here fine and I'll put it I'll put a torch on top of this just to light it up I'll be really careful not to fall off especially that way I'm just gonna make a square around the perimeter of this level just all the way around extend it on the sides like this and that. So a little bit of this, that. To kind of give the, the top shape of the pick. And I'm going to put blocks underneath every block that's sticking out there. So it's gonna go, I'm going to bring it down a level. Since I'm over here, I'll do like, um, it's going to be mirror image on both sides. Whatever I do over here is going to happen on the other side. So for this next level, I'm probably just going to put two blocks extending on each, each of these like that. Like one, two, one, two, one, two, you know, like that. I'm actually going to put a line here right in front of... That. So there's going to be a little bit of a hollow area on the other side of it. And this is going to come straight out and fill all this in. This is going to be kind of like a little bit of a triangle formation. Where I put one there, one there, two here, one and one. For this part I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to narrow it down to just these three. Because it, uh, the shape's going to be more narrow as it comes out. And I'm going to make I think that'll make it look good. So to give the bottom a little bit more shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring this out a little bit. I'm going to put one of those on each side of that. Let's see. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Just this little corner overhang out here. I'm going to put bring this in. I think that's good. So yeah, I think that looks like it'll be the winner. I'm going to go do this exact thing to the opposite side now. That actually looks... Oh, I didn't really get that part in there. Alright, I think that looks like it'll be a good pick. But I kind of want to see what it looks like from further away. Alright, actually that looks that looks really nice. I'm, I'm actually very happy with that. Um, so this, <laughs> here's the bridge I built out here, by the way. I might as well connect it up in case I want to get another view up there. And it's getting late, so I better sleep so I don't get shot off this thing. The next part of this would be the hands that are going to be holding it. So they're going to be coming from three directions. The hand is going to curve around this, and it's going to be probably two blocks down so the hands gonna be three tall and it's gonna wrap around this like that so this is gonna be like it's uh, just a grabbing it so this is the outline of the hand that's reaching out to it um, I think I could do this maybe twice and then go to a uh, a 4x4 four four square to um, let me see if I can get this over here yeah I guess I can get rid of some of these after yeah something like this because I'm thinking like the pixelated hand of a a Minecraft character is like 4x4. Four four. 
So I can kind of imitate some of that. That's kind of my thinking progress. Pro progress? My thinking progress. And I'll throw this in here so no, nothing spawns. So the next one is going to be two blocks lower. And it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be uh, three tall, four wide. Kind of reaching through. And you know, it's alright if their hands touch a little. You know, they, they're friends. Their hands can touch. It's fine. No big deal. So that's what they're going to do. All right, so it's kind of hard to keep track of, but it should be like that. And then at this point, well, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, get that extra level. There we go. There's the piece. No. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> Right, that will be another arm. Oh yes, very good, very good. All right, here we are at the final hand. The final hand is at hand. So this one's gonna be like this. Oh, wait a minute. I went too far to the left. I think that's good. Bring that in like that. Oh, I probably missed that on the other ones. Okay. Gotta be thorough, you know. So that's the hand coming around. And then you have so or fourth. So there we go. So then this thus starts the four by four arm. Just the more things I can climb on makes it that much easier. Well, since the start of each of the arms are in place, uh, the next thing I want to look at is connecting them to the, uh, just going out from the, uh, bring the statues out, or bring the arms to the statues. That's it. So, placement of elbows is always kind of a tricky one, but I think, I think that for this, if the hand starts there, goes to there, we can start going up. So... Not starting here, but just after it, I'm going to have a stairway sort of thing going. Or it's just this going up each time. And for the bottom, I'm going to do the same, except I'm going to delay it one. I'm going to take out a little bit of dirt here to uh, 
right before the... I think it's going to be where the head is. It's going to be on this wall. I'm going to try to keep the, the heads level with each other. So this is at about... Let's see. I think the head might start at 110. 110. So this will be the end of the arm up here. I think that'll look good. And I'm going to clear out this side of the wall. So each of these heads is going to be at y equals 110 for the, the bottom part. And they're going to be about 14 blocks away from the middle. But now speaking of the head, I'm not going to start it right in the middle of the arm since this looks like the right arm um, I'm going to actually start it maybe yeah right meow. so this will be the corner closest to me bottom closest of uh, an 8 by 8 by 8 cube so I'll make the frame of that really fast I kind of see a little bit. I'd, let's get the other ones going too. For this one, actually, I'm deciding it's not going to go straight back. I'm, I'm directly behind it right now. I'm actually going to have it go back at an angle, which means I'm going to go ahead and bring this. Just push, push it back a little bit, like maybe one block. And actually, yeah, if I'm going to be 14 away from the middle of this, I need to count that out. So middle, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Third. Oh, i got to take two layers out of this mountain. Well, let's get to work. Let's see, maybe, maybe the arm's going to start bending up around here. Not maybe, it is. See, so not at the very bottom one, but second from the bottom. I'm just going to bring that straight to the uh, to the mountain. Let's see, that face started at 110. We're at 108, so that means this has to go two more up. Are you okay? Do you want to live? Do you want to live? I can't help you. So just as the uh, the left corner started there on the shoulder, this one's also going to do that. I think I'm going to start it around here. So from here, it's going to be the 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight cube. So it's going to go this way, it's going to go that way, and it's going to go forward that way. For this final arm, I think, coming from the pick, I'm going to take this whole thing, just two more, out, woo, and then start going up. Now that I'm up here, I'm at y equals 110 again. I'm going to start the cube kind of overhanging a little bit this time. So it's going to be 8 this way, 8 this way, and 8 up. All right, all, all right. All right, that's that's looking pretty good. That's uh that's going to be doable. Um see those blocks as soon as they're filled in are going to look really nice. I want to have more 
on these statues though because obviously they need a body the hills kind of help out a lot with the body so actually I wonder how much body I really need but I kind of wanted them to have more features like another a second arm and I have kind of a cool idea for it I think they're gonna kind of point out their uh, their locations like one hand on the unity staff whatever and the other one pointing to their realm you know, I think I will need to make the body of this after all so I think I'm gonna have it slightly turned facing that way so I'm gonna get rid of a few things like this I'm gonna jump down oof how do I want to do this I think this is going to be kind of an outline. Um, I'm going to go two. Then I'm going to start zigzagging. We're getting there. <laughs> so one more. Kind of like a crooked triangle. Kind of like a crooked triangle. And I'm going to bring this all up actually. Just fill this in. There's the body. Let's see about this arm. The last arm was about thir 14 away from the middle, and it bends a little bit, so I'm going to add a couple, make this 16 long, see how that looks. I'll have this about 4 long until it comes down to the 4x4 four four grid. Seal it up with the torches inside. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh yeah, looks like he's dropping the mic. That's pretty awesome. Alright, I'm going to use that, what I just learned from there to do the other ones. So I'm going to do a similar thing to the other one. Maybe going four in and this is where it's going to even out and then start doing a little pattern maybe. Maybe just a little pattern. And maybe here start straightening out. Alright, there's 16 and I'll do the rest. I'm thinking the body might be easier to do from below, seeing that it might actually reach way down there. So I'm going to finish filling out this uh, cube and then head down. This is starting to look really cool. So this um, looks like I'll have to get up there a little bit to see where I want the mountain to come down. So if I look straight up, like until I hit the ceiling of my mouse going up, I see them underneath the corner. I don't really want that to be where the the body comes down though. I want to leave a little bit of corner. So let's see, maybe three in. So here. I bet I could build this up. It would look really uh that's a good spot. And then I'll go diagonally from there. And one more diagonal. And, hmm. Yeah, that'll be good. So these are the, these are the pieces that will go up. Whoa, oh! <laughs> I bet the egg falls first. This is, uh, it descends into the depths. <laughs> oh, 
Let's see, I think there's a bit of stuff to remove over here. So business time. I'm gonna go with uh let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna use this instead of the shovel because the shovel is too fast. It's actually too good at its job. I'm do something like this. Just mo mosley along this way. I think around here it's gonna come out. It's a bloom. And that'll be the shape of the torso. Which tells me that a lot of this is going bye bye. You know, I'm I'm thinking that I could treat this like the others and bring it all the way down. But there's sort of like a natural underhang, overhang thing going on here. So I might just leave it be. Hmm. That might actually be uh, interesting. I don't know, maybe I will bring that down. Because it's like a very narrow spot down there. Maybe I'll, I'll strengthen up the fortifications down there a little bit. Bring these all the way down. But I'm going to do the arm. It's going to be pretty much just like the others. And I'm going to fill this in. Uh, same with that. And we'll see what this all looks like. Well, this is where I started, so this is where I'm going to finish, but with a reveal this time. So we're going to we're going to walk over this like like I did before, but everything's finished. So if I was a journeyer on my journeying ways, I'd come around here and I'd see this. And that that turned out awesome. I I think <laughs> I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Let's uh Makes you kind of want to get a few views. So here's a here's a couple dramatic shots. Do 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 do. A whoop a pow pow. And when you're walking up, da 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 da. Da I I did notice something while I was uh, making this, and it has to do with the fact that there's. I'm glad that there's only uh, three kingdoms in this alliance and not four. Otherwise, I could not have done this pattern because a certain group of people uh, stood for things that this could have almost been the symbol of. So I'm just going to be happy and say, you know what, maybe there was a fourth one, but they blew him up. Maybe that's... <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe that's why there's a hole here. It's because... There was a fir <laughs> there was a fourth kingdom pointing that way, <laughs> but they're like, nope, can't have this. Our our alliance cannot withstand this, <laughs> not like this. <laughs> and now for one of my favorite views, there's a little bit of uh, whoa, there's a little bit of staircase in the way, but you know if you get your angles right, you play your cards well, you can actually see them from way down here. And uh, Traversing up the stairway, not this way because you can't see anything. On the way back, I think that's a pretty cool shot. If I was a camera, I would take a picture. Luckily, there's a couple cool ones. So, oh, and all in all, I'm actually pretty happy with this. This is this is a. Uh, this is a fun little, uh, big little project. I can't really say it was a little project because they're giant statues. But I think that really can be a fun thing to add into the area and generate quite a bit of uh, story for me to to do stuff with. So this has been Red McNed. This has been another s ad adventure in the saga of Red McNed. And I'll see y'all in another episode, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Take care.